this 7830 hasn't been put on charge and the battery's a bit dicky. And Morgan's driven it in the shed. So we've got to move this out to then get that down with the jump leads. That was in the way already and so was that. I've moved all that, pull this out, drive that down, jump start that, drop this off, put the low loader on. We're gonna go and quickly clean another ditch out. Morgan's moved the 1455 so I can get behind it. He was gonna bring it in the yard, but there's not really any room, so it's just gonna hover on one side. We'll start the 7-8 up and then back it back in again where it was. It's got the duck food on it still. It's not as easy to see. The mirrors on tractors are the front back in the day as they are now. Yeah, we'll just jump start it. Good news though, Celia have been in touch after me saying about that jump start and not working properly. And basically said you should have contacted us direct, not the distributor, and um, we're gonna send you a replacement. So hopefully, oh, that should be good. Just keep, we'll have to give it a minute. Two minutes of uh, leaving this connected and it started, no problem. The batteries, the plates must have got that flat that they buckled inside, so it just won't hold charge anymore. We'll have to get some new batteries for it. Morgan's tipped the trailer so we can see where he's going. So he doesn't hit the fertiliser spreader that's parked just behind it. Quickly clean a little ditch anyway, so John's just loaded a shovel. Got a wooden handle one because metal handle ones are cold to hold in this weather. Rob's off with some straw for the chicken man for his boiler. I'm gonna go and do a bank with for John. It's like a time lapse camera so we can get a cool video of cleaning the ditch. That field should be winter wheat, absolutely waterlogged. On that for a bit. Not sure if you can see, but the digger's peeling the mud off the stone underneath on the track. That pipe there. One in this corner here. It's quite silty, there's a lot of gravel in there. So the gravel. Try and get that out. It's off a bridge for that though, isn't it? Right, that should have cleared that one there now. I'll get in with a shovel and do the rest. That's well low. Can anyone see this here, this, this divot there? That's where it turned once with the combine in the corner of the field. And didn't realize, because it was all brambles right across. I thought I was still on the bridge, and I wasn't. The combine dropped down and smashed the chopper on that back of there. Uh, there, like three years ago. Bent the straw chopper, which was most annoying when it had beans on here. Anyway, in other news, Got wheat growing finally. So this was one of the fields that we topped down and then drilled with wheat. You see with the tractor drove though, it's still a bit muddy, it's not really coming up there. I bet the seed probably blew for that bit. Probably find that every 12 meters it's not grown so well. It's a little bit wet here. We had to put um, fertilizer on it the other day. But as a whole, we have got some rows of wheat. Would have liked to have rolled this if it ever dried, but I feel like it's not going to. There's another pass with the drill. Again, the wheel of the drill's not particularly growing because it's slumped so much. And what's happened here, but there's no seed whatsoever. Oh yeah, there is. It's the angle I was looking at. But 
It's growing. It's proper wet though. It's got some catching up to do. Don't know what it'll yield like. A little bit tricky here working under the trees. Got a little bit there to go back to the other side of the trunk. And then we can hopefully that branch is dead, so we'll put that out of the way. Hopefully, kind of snake through where it behind us past. I think that pond empties into this ditch. Gonna work the other side of the trunk now. Hopefully, get that last scoop there. It's got a bit of a bend in the ditch anyway, so should get it at that. That's dropped the level considerably. Just got to carry on through. Just a little bit awkward now negotiating around the trees. But flowing now. Quite a few dead branches, don't want them scratching the digger. Like a sandbank there as well, isn't it? It's a bit random. John's just cleaning the edge of the pond and then carries on down this ditch and we'll do here. Look how wet this is. Anyway, I'm going to dig down with a spade and we'll see how it's dry underneath. Not really, no. It's still pretty saturated. God, they give me one hand. Now, pretty wet. This is the field. Can you see over there? There's a bucket. It's where we put a drain along the hedge, so I think we're going to have to redrain this whole field. Like a meter there to get out that it can't quite reach. Just going to see if we can track into this swampy bit a little bit to reach it lose a bit of slop. Hopefully you should be driving on the clay then. This might be the last time we see this digger. At least we can tow it out with the quad track. Any reach or not quite? Oh, another like metre really. Oh. It's going. It's just if they come off the hard ground it'll be difficult to get out. Nearly got it. It's flowing now. Oh, it's going deeper. Probably about all we dare go, I bet. We do that with a spade. It's pretty, pretty in the slot that to the track underneath. Don't really want to get stuck. Oh well, it's coming out, that's a good sign. Track's as dirty as the quad track. What a volume, watch the quad track, but we ran out of water yesterday. Uh oh. Dancing diggers. I'll get the spade and go over there. Do that bit. Do this by hand. If I cut a trench, take a scoop out all the way along. 
should clean itself then because it's quite fast flowing. Two-handed job though, so I'll have to put the phone down. A bit out of breath, but I've dug through the spade now. So hopefully the fast flowing water now will carve that out where we couldn't reach with the digger. We got to there, we got to there. So you now eight foot. Pull the silt from one side as well. In a nice year, you'd have got the muck spreader and loaded that and spread it on the field, but we haven't got a nice year, so we're just making it so that there's a channel right through out the other side. Just cleaned out over there. In the bottom, I found this, and it's a seed label from September 87 for winter wheat. I can't read the variety. It looks like it's AUS, something or other. United Kingdom Seed Executive. Can anyone read what that says for the variety? guess at it let me know in the comments it's moving on from the swamp but it went that way and because of them trees in the way we're just diverting it down the side of the swamp we've just cut a new channel rather than damage all them trees through there more direct routes as well for the water last I know second to last scoop of the swamp It's that other one there now. Should let the water go. It's like root mass there, that must be from the reeds. Look a mop. This is the one. Off it goes. Down its new channel. Oh well, I think we got the angle right. Now I'm marooned. When you're cleaning a, dig a ditch out, it's totally overgrown. And a pair of wellies and trainers come out of it. You always wonder was there a body one to pass to the end of it. Anyway, thankfully a lot, but there's uh, three wellies and a pair of trainers at least. Flyers and a night light. So it tells me it was a sort of a thief may have stashed. Proper overgrown here. Wonder if the thief not know it was a ditch and fell in it. That's all clean now and we've got to the end where it's going down that pipe. It's just a bit of a short ditch here. We're going to try and dig out just in case there's any pipes blocked in that. Take a scoop out of there now and we'll see what we can see. Not a lot, but there was a bit of pipe there, shall we? Over here. Try another one closer to the bank when it's silted. Can't really see anything, but there was some clay pipe down there somewhere. We might have been able to find a drain in there, but we haven't. But maybe when the water level does drops a bit, we'll see. But just tidy up now on our way out and go get some dinner, I think. I might put some dye in the water, but I'm guessing the dirty water that's coming out of there, complete with some leaves is where we've the pipe we've been cleaning out this won't be helping though will it this dead tree here do we pulling that out with a digger and maybe pulling this out a bit so they they can outlet a bit better it's a little bit silted this little stream here we've just been cleaning out so the digger is there can you see it so just to the right of it over there 
So that pipe was going right underneath the road outlet here. So that dead tree really wants pulling out. Clean this corner out and hopefully all them pipes will run a bit freer. Might be able to sneak the digger through the trees there. Just cross the road where we dropped it off through them double gates. Come through the trees around the edge of this field where it's wet and horse out. What's, what's down there? Can't see, can you? You know what I mean though. Wet yard, just been absolutely throwing it down while we've been eating our dinner. Morgan's got two fields left to spread, so he's gonna quickly get them done now and we can wash that off, then wash that off. While we're here with the big bucket, John's just regrading this track. From when they had spuds on it, it ended up like a, a ridge of soil here from the de-stoners. And they meant that the water couldn't sort of soak away and it was staying on the track and it was rutting up. So, and loads of dead vegetation as well over the years. So we've given it a good clean up. The uh, vegetation go back that side of the fence. It's all dead leaves and then the soil's going back on the edge of the field. Normally this field's cropped the same as the one up there, but this year that's winter wheat and this is going to be uh, rice maybe. So we'll have to bring the spray and the combine down this track. But it's not so bad here, but it gets pretty bad down there. I'll just give you a little for instance of what the track's like where we've not done yet. So it's all right over this side, but where we've kind of been driving on the edge because we couldn't get close to the fence because of the trees. It's kind of like rutted. Throwing it down again. Need to build an arc, I think. Anyway, we're going to wash this spreader off now. This is definitely our new favorite toy. The state of this tractor after it's been spreading fertilizer. What a joke. Yeah, a tractor should not look like that after spreading fertilizer at the end of March. It, this is the washer bottle on the, on the uh, what's it called? Quad track. track. Gotta call it Zerion. I'm not joking, but that must be. That's my hand. That must be the smallest washer bottle on the biggest tractor ever. Wish it was a Zerion. And those three. Why oh, do you wish it was a Zerion? Have a good weekend, are you there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but look at that, the pipes come up and they've been chomped on here, rubbing against the AdBlue tank. But yeah, that should be bigger. That's probably small because of AdBlue now. I bet you're in, a, I bet you're in some states or like um, South America, that's a whole washer bottle. <laughs> anyway, we're just working out the cables now. We've got, we've, someone told me about a hole down here, so we've got that cable in here now and Rob's mounting the screen up there. So we'll shut this now and then sort the battery cable out. We've clamped this on here now and we've used a couple of two pence pieces in the back. I've put one on for now in the back and then I'm gonna put another one in there so it doesn't damage the paint. But we're just gonna chest it now by lifting it up. Seeing if that clicks, that micro switch. Well, lift it. Right up. Hold on. Yeah, lay it down. Yeah, that'll do. Got the power supply on now, cable tied to the middle so it doesn't stretch it, so it goes on the centre point. That's on, that's clicking off nicely. Um, bad enough for today now, so tomorrow I'll bring that round and wash all the tracks off, wash the drill off as well, I think, and we can wash the yard. 
someone complained yesterday about the edits doing this i don't like it either but now my phone has updated the app for some reason it keeps doing that by default and it's so annoying because i have to manually turn it off on every frame rob's all excited he's doing the north coast 500 in this beast so if you see him buy him a pint yeah. <laughs> he's got his itinerary there ready to go <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but his alloy wheels haven't turned up, so he's gutted. No, it looks like a nice cream van, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, keep your eye out for uh, the Greg and Black, whatever Gino, it is. Gino De Camper. De, De Camp. What was it? Ducato. Great Ducato. Yeah. Do it. Head into Scotland tomorrow. John's done a splendid job of the track. It looked totally different when it's raining. You can see the white stone again. So he's got nearly to the back of the yard. You see where we've been driving though, because the track was that bad on the field. Cheap update. The game bigger. When I bought this buggy, I had the choice of a green one or an orange one. Well, I'm glad I chose an orange one, because a green one, you wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now on it. Which is the birthday bumper. So Archie Brennan is 60. Chris Whiffin is also 60. Diane Reeks on there. Miles Garrido, I think. Mark Roberts. Jason McFarlane's 13. Marcus Bruce is 25. George Hankin is 74. Now, that, I'm thinking that's Frank's brother because there can't be that many George Hankins around that age. So, happy birthday, George, up the road. Logan and Archie McKeeve is 14 as well. And we're at £63,184. Um, not sure how many people fast forwarded, but anyway, I've done it now. So, um, I did a quiz question yesterday, but I can't remember what it was to tell you the answer. Can't remember. Anyway, today's quiz question is, how are you as a percent? Despite the rain today, I feel like we've got quite a bit done. So I'm 85%. How are you feeling? Don't be lazy. All do it. Let us know in the comment section and I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh yeah, there's a big truck arriving, bringing something tomorrow as well.